How's it hanging YouTube? Peter here, your Ginger Jordy Geek. Welcome back to the channel for a review of Aquaman The Lost Kingdom. Now, let us tell you what I think about this. First off, I enjoyed the first movie and I thought it was fun. I liked seeing um, Arthur Curry's development into the hero he kind of became and I thought Jason Momoa played him pretty well. In the Justice League films, he's kind of become the butt of a lot of jokes for me and he's lost a bit of the, the kind of the regalness of the character. Um, in many ways. Then we pick up with this movie, which is not without its controversy. There's been a whole host of stuff said about it over the last few months um, in terms of its future in the DC universe, now that James Gunn's in control, but also about some of its co-stars. Not going to talk much about that woman. <coughs> so, what did I think of this? Nah. I, 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 I honestly don't know what to say. Um... It felt flat as a fart to me. It didn't excite us in any way like the first film did. I didn't get that kind of wow factor when I saw them under the sea and when I saw them calling the animals and the different the different sea creatures and things. It's kind of pegged as a buddy kind of comedy thing. And it does, it works a little bit in that regard. Now there's no denying there are some funny bits in this. I do like Patrick Wilson in his role. And there are some great characters. Patrick Wilson, as I say in particular, is very good. Um, and also Black Manta is very strong in this. I enjoyed his character a lot. Jason Momoa got right on my tits. I have to be perfectly honest. I don't like this caricature of Aquaman. Um, I don't like his acting. If I'm honest, I don't think he's a strong actor. It just didn't, it didn't work for us, I'm sorry to say. There is a lot uh, more of Amber in this movie. That, uh, there's a lot more of that woman in this movie um, than I expected. I kind of thought she might get bumped off at the start and she didn't, but there we are. Um, so I, I, yeah, there was a lot more of her. Special effects were pretty roby, I have to say. Now, if you watch my channel, you'll know I go on about CGI a fair bit. This has got some bad CGI. I mean, not just bad, some like dog shit CGI in this. There are scenes that are pretty good in terms of CGI, and then there are other scenes that just look awful, absolutely awful. The action sequences feel completely flat. There is no, there's no stakes in any of this as far as I can see. The only time I did think the action looked pretty good was when I had the kind of the final showdown at the end, Aquaman versus Black Manta. But that was over in like two minutes, if if that, you know. Um, the big battle scenes did nothing. Absolutely nothing for us. They were just they were just one dimensional cack. Um I'm conscious that I'm starting to feel, dare I say it, fatigued with some of these movies i don't feel anything for some of these movies anymore um th this just didn't this didn't excite us in any way i went into the film wanting it to be good but with a bit of negativity already in my head so perhaps that's influenced us i will watch it again when it comes out on dvd or whatever i will give it another go um but it's not a one i could recommend people rush to the cinema to see um so overall couple of fun bits a little bit of decent action in it, horrendous CGI, not enjoyable characters, the humour falls flat for me in the vast majority of, of places, the storyline's a bit naff. Yeah, it's pretty pretty shitty. What I would say, though, is in my cinema there were a load of kids and they certainly seemed to be getting a kick out of it. I was sat next to a young family and the, the young lad seemed to be really excited and he enjoyed it. So perhaps I'm just aged out of this particular franchise now. Perhaps I'm just getting too old in the tooth. So overall for me, it's below par. This movie was below average. I'd probably give it a four out of 10. And perhaps I went in to see this movie already a little bit down on the character of Aquaman. Because for me, for me, ladies and gents, there's only ever been one true king of the sea. Some people stand in the darkness, afraid to step into the light. Some people need to help somebody 
the edge of surrenders in sight. Don't you worry, it's gonna be all right. Cause I'm always ready, I won't let you out of my sight. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. No, don't you fear. No, no, don't you fear. I'll be ready. Forever and always, I'm always here. Let me know what you thought of this movie, guys, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.